Hello, art students. I'm going to go over some examples of um, Mona Lisa and how we can make her modern. These are artworks from famous artists, from other students. Um, I want you to kind of get some ideas of how you can change it up and make it look like yours. So this is the original Mona Lisa. As you can see, it's the Renaissance style. You can see the background is dark. Her clothing is super dark. Um, her smile is kind of like a halfway, you're not really sure what's going on. And then here are some examples that we're going to look at that are a little more modern. So these are going to be like student examples. So you guys can see this one has headphones and iPod listening to music. The background is totally different. You have some cityscape. Um, this one is inside of a room with a window. This one has also some buildings in the background. They're wearing like a pink t-shirt. This one has Nike listening to headphones. This one has her hair up in a bun. Still kind of a same pose. So they're having their arms drawn kind of like how Mona Lisa did. Um, these are going to be student examples. Here are some famous artwork examples of Mona Lisa. So they're a little bit exaggerated on some of them. This one, the eyes are really detailed. Um, the painting looks like it's more kind of a th thick application. This one is only using just a couple of different colors, but it is completely different than the original. Here are some more examples. This one is going to be kind of a pop art rendition of Mona Lisa. She is still posed in the same way. Colors are going to be completely different, bright, lots of patterns, some really unique touches to this Mona Lisa, as well as the one on the left. It's a little more kind of a sketched um, pen and ink type of Mona Lisa drawing. Here are some more examples. This one also is going to be a pop art. You can see there is actually a Coca-Cola and a cheeseburger and crazy colors, but Mona Lisa is still all in her original colors. So if you want to just change up the background and add a couple of objects, you're welcome to do that. This one on the left is also going to be just a couple of colors. It's not very many, but it's kind of a smudged look to it. So what you guys are going to be able to do is you're going to be able to choose what you want to use to make your artwork. So you can use your watercolor painting, you can use any tempera paint you might have at home, you can even do colored pencils or crayon or markers. But what I'm asking is for a full page to be demonstrated with making your Mona Lisa look modern. So here's some instructions. And one of the things you should have already done was complete the worksheet that we did um, in class on Monday. So you're going to be able to use magazines. So any clippings from magazines, if you want to attach that onto your art project, um, you can use pictures from the internet. This is not going to be done on the computer. It's not digital. You're doing it on actual paper. So if you cut things out, you can insert it onto your paper. You still need to have some of the basic structures of Mona Lisa. So you still need to have a portrait of Mona Lisa in a pose where her arms are kind of in the same direction. She needs to have a background, hair, face, all of that included. And like I said, you are welcome to use markers, color pencil, paint, crayon, whatever supplies you have at home. But the key thing is you are making your Mona Lisa as modern as possible. So we want her to look like she belongs here today in 2020. All right. Have a really fun time thinking and creating your modern Mona Lisa.